Hello. Hello again. Um, so I'm doing well today. I've already filmed one video um, and I've got a little bit more time so I figured I'm just gonna film this as well. Um, and it's only very short craft but it's just I thought you'd enjoy it because it's something I always talk about like keeping things and hoarding stuff. <laughs> Not hoarding but like keeping hold of things that you think oh it's too nice to throw out you might use it for something else. But anyway this is exactly that. So this here is just a glass lid off a jar candle um, which once the candle went out I used the jar for something else and this, what are they called, is it a cosh? It um, was for a candle. Um, I think the base broke but I kept this because I thought I will use this for something and this fits perfectly on top of here. So I'm going to use this to make a tiny little decoration. So, for starters, I bought some snow confetti, 80 grams from Parmand. Here it is. Now, this is going to be messy, isn't it? I just bought something quite small like this to look really effective. Okay, so I'm just going to open. I'm just going to start by popping some glue in the bottom of the jar lid. like so and then I'm going to sprinkle some snow inside and I think I'm going to pop some glue over the top of them a bit as well and sprinkle some more snow over the top so just put some glue all around the sides there just, ah. I enjoy this and then afterwards I'm like, oh I've got to clean that up. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, looks so cute. Right, where are my tiny Christmas trees? Here they are. Teeny tiny bottle brush bottle brush Christmas trees and little like golden wooden stand. I'm gonna pop some glue underneath one and pop it in the centre of the snow and hold it <laughs> while it stands up right now I don't think this won't, won't hold for like lifting it up by the lid and moving it around but it's just for the purposes of this and obviously if you intended upon lifting it up by the lid and moving it you'd have to use stronger glue but I will literally move it by the base I'm gonna pop some glue around the base here and stick it, stick it there. Very, very carefully. I mean, I guess you won't need to do it until you have to use the glue. You could just pop it on. If you've no intention of lifting it up. Well, makes the idea of it being a little more secure. There we go. <laughs> I am very pleased with that. Although the tree has wobbled a little bit. Ah. <laughs> you get the idea. I will fix that. Perhaps I'll peel it off and fix the tree. Yes, I will. So I've just restuck my tree in the centre and that's, that's not going anywhere now. <laughs> and the beauty of hot glue is that if you make a mistake or something doesn't quite go to plan, you can just peel it off and do it again. So, <laughs> <Ta -da>! <laughs> <laughs> I really like that. Now, granted, some, if you can see here, some of the glue has come out a little bit when I've placed the cross down and a little snow, but that's okay. I have, my intention is to pop some ribbon around the side. Let's see. Back 
to my ribbon basket. Let's see, I think I have a silver covered in hot glue. A silver piece. The green piece might look quite nice. Yeah, green. We will go with green on this occasion. I just have this piece of ribbon. As I said earlier, I always keep keep little pieces of ribbon no matter how small just because you never know what you use them for. Fellow crafters out there will fully understand this. Like it's still a little bit tacky around the side so I think I might get away with just putting a little bit of glue where the ribbon meets. Considering this, apart from obviously the little bottle brush tree which I bought in, where did I get it? Poundland um, and the snow. Everything else is just recycled. The ribbon is recycled from previous crafts or gifts. And the glass. And isn't that better than just ticking it away? <laughs> I think it looks very effective. Might have to pop some ink there where. Yeah, I think the ribbon is. Maybe I'll make a little bit. That might look nice. Let's see. Fold the ribbon over. Granted, I'm doing this in the middle, but I always keep pieces of ribbon for the future. Future crafts. Looking at the time. <laughs> Got to go in the school room soon. much glue on when I'm using tiny tiny bits of ribbon. Do you know what I might use instead? A tiny piece of one of these flourish tree pips. That might look nice, might you? You have like two leaves glued on instead. You have to hide where the ribbon crosses over. There. <laughs> I am very pleased with this. I hope this inspires you to keep your trash, recycle it. <laughs> Don't throw things out. Make it into something as cute as this. Um, thank you for watching. If you watched to the end, this is a very short video, but there you have it. <laughs> it's just a very simple craft, but I think it's really effective. Um, yeah. Hope to see you again soon if you would like to subscribe to my videos and you see any future crafts that I make. I'm sure there'll be plenty because uh, honestly I love to craft. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Take care. Hope you're well. Bye bye.